To continue supporting this initiative, I have proposed an allocation of 92.1 billion shillings for the housing, urban development, and public, work, public works. This includes Kenya shillings 8.3 billion under the Kenya Urban Program, Kenya shillings 3 billion to Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company for enhancement of the company, uh, company's capital as well as for leading to the primary mortgage renders. Kenya shillings 32.5 billion for construction of affordable housing units. Sorry, Kenya shillings 15 billion for the construction of social housing unit. Kenya shillings 14.7 billion for social and fiscal infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, other proposed allocation to the housing, urban development, and public works include 11.3 billion for the Kenya Informal Settlement Improvement, improve, Improvement Project Phase 3. Kenya shillings 1 billion for the construction of markets. Kenya shillings 1 billion for the National SRAM Upgrading Program. Kenya shillings 1 billion for the construction of housing units for the National Police and Kenya Prisons. Kenya shillings 496.3 million for the construction of food bridges. Kenya shillings for 444 million targeted to support construction of county headquarters that are targeted. Fourth, universal health care coverage, Mr. Speaker, the government is committed and determined to realize the construction light, uh, the, the constitutional right to health of, by promoting access to quality and affordable health care through universal health care coverage program. Towards this end, Mr. Speaker, I have proposed an allocation of 127 billion to the health sector to support various activities and programs. This include 4.2 billion for the Kenya shillings, 4.2 billion for universal health care coverage, coordination and management unit, Kenya shillings 2 billion for free maternity health care, Kenya shillings 3.6 billion for managed uh, for managed equipment, equipment services, Kenya shillings 86 861.5 million to provide medical cover for the orphans, elderly, and severely disabled persons in our society. Kenya shillings 4.6 billion to cater for the stipend and acquisition of specialized medical equipment for the community health promoters, and 4.1 billion shillings for primary health care fund. Mr. Speaker, throughout the cases of HIV, AIDS, malaria, malaria and tuberculosis, and enhance the vaccines and immunization program in the country, I have proposed Kenya shillings 28.7 billion for, for the Global Fund, and Kenya shillings 4.6 billion for vaccines and immunization programs, respectively. Mr. Speaker, to enhance the early diagnosis and management of cancer, and reduce the burden of treatment among Kenyans, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya shillings 1.1 billion, billion to strengthen cancer management in Kenyatta National Hospital and Kisi level five hospitals. I have also proposed Kenya shillings 2 billion to, uh, for, to the Emergencies, Chronic and Critical Illness Fund. Mr. Speaker, to improve health delivery services, uh, uh, health service delivery, I have proposed a sum of Kenya shillings 29.7 billion for Kenyatta National Hospital and Moy Teaching and Referral Hospitals. This includes 2.6 billion for the construction of Kenyatta National Hospital Burns and Pediatric Center. I've also proposed Kenya shillings 5.2 billion for the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency. Kenya shillings 2.5 billion for the Kenya Medical Research Institute. Kenya shillings 1 billion for procurement of family planning and reproductive health commodities. And Kenya shillings 760 million for procurement of equipment at the National Blood Transfusion Services. Further, to strengthen the capacity of medical personnel, I have proposed Kenya shillings 3.7 billion for medical interns, Kenya shillings 406 million for training of health personnel, and Kenya shillings 8.6 billion for Kenya Medical Training Center. Finally, the digital superhighway and creative economy, Mr. Mr. Speaker, investment in digital superhighway and creative economy continues to play a critical role in enabling the government achieve the objectives of bottom-up economic transformation agenda through increased productivity and competitiveness. On the creative economy promotion and of music, theater, and graphic design, digital animation, digi digital animation, fashion, and craft, among others, continues to create jobs opportunities for the youth. Mr. Speaker, to support the growing digital su uh, superhighway and creative economy, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya shillings 16.3 billion to fund the initiatives in the information, communication, and, con and technology se sector. Specifically, this proposed allocation includes 1.1 billion for government shared services, 
704 million for digital superhighway, 2.3 billion for the construction of Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology at Consa Technopolis, 2.8 billion for Kenya, Med, uh, Kenya Digital uh, Economy Acceleration Project and 2.8 billion for maintenance and rehabilitation of the last mile county con connectivity network. In order to fast track the developments of the Consa Technopolis, Technopolis City, I have proposed an allocation of 1.5 billion for the horizontal infrastructure phase one and Kenya Sharing's 5.2 billion for the CONSA data center and, and uh, smart city facilities. Other key allocations to, crit to critical sectors supporting better uh, include investment in crit critical infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, the government continues to expand and maintain critical infrastructure in roads, railways, sea, and airports to achieve social economic transformation that will also enhance Kenya's competitiveness and facilitate cross-border trade and regional integration. Towards this end, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya Shillings 193.4 billion for development of roads. This includes 86.2 billion to support construction of roads and bridges, Kenya Shillings 37.7 billion for the rehabilitation of roads, and Kenya Shillings 69.5 billion uh, for, the, for road maintenance. Mr. Speaker, to expand the railway, the railway transport and even associated infrastructure, I have proposed Kenya Shillings 25.2 billion. I have proposed, I've also proposed Kenya Shillings 2.4 billion for infrastructure development at Dogokudu Special Economic Zone, Kenya Shillings 1 billion for Nairobi Bus Lapid Transport Project, Kenya Shillings 316 million for promotion of e mobility project, and Kenya Shillings 239.4 billion for the development of Nairobi Railway City. To facilitate movement of goods and people in our inland waters, I have proposed an additional Kenya Shillings 200 million for acquisition of ferries for Lake Victoria. Mr. Speaker, to scale up production of reliable and affordable energy, I have proposed an allocation of 69.7 billion to the energy subsector. This includes Kenya Shillings 27.8 billion for the national grid system, Kenya Shillings 24 billion for rural electrification, Kenya Shillings 14 billion for the development of geothermal energy, Kenya Shillings 2.2 billion for the alternative energy technologies, and Kenya Shillings 920 million for the development of nuclear energy. Mr. Speaker, I now turn to improving education outcomes. The government continues to invest in education to improve education outcomes and create a level playing field for all, the ch for all Kenyan children. Mr. Speaker, from this end, I have proposed a total allocation of 656.6 billion, or 27.6 percent of total expenditures, expenditures to the education sector. This includes Kenya Shillings 358.2 billion to the Teacher Service Commission, Kenya Shillings 142.2.3 billion for basic education. Kenya Shillings 128 billion for higher education and research. Kenya Shillings 30.7 billion for technical vocational educational train, education tra and training. Mr. Speaker, the allocation of the education sector includes Kenya Shillings 9.1 billion free primary education, 61.9 billion shillings for free day secular education, Kenya Shillings 30.7 billion for junior secular school capitation and Kenya Shillings 5 billion for the examinations fee waiver. In addition, Mr. Speaker, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya Shillings 13.4 billion for the conversion of 46,000 junior secondary school interns to permanent and pensionable terms. Kenya Shillings 1.3 billion for the training of teachers on competency-based curriculum and Kenya Shillings 360 million for the digital literacy program and ICT integration in our secondary schools. Mr. Speaker, to support infrastructure and de uh, infrastructure development and ensure safe learning in our schools, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya Shillings 3.2 billion for primary, for primary and secondary schools infrastructure. Kenya Shillings 1 billion for construction of classroom for junior secondary schools and Kenya Shillings 2.3 billion for the construction and equipping of technical training institutes and vocational training centers. Further, I have proposed Kenya Shillings 11.1 billion for the Kenya primary 
uh, education equ equity in learning program, Kenya sharing 1.8 billion for construction of integrated resource centers, and Kenya sharing 1.5 billion for the Kenya secondary education quality improvement project. Mr. Speaker, other proposed allocations to the education sector include Kenya shillings 1.1 billion for the research, science, and technology innovation. Mr. Speaker, the government is implementing the new funding model for public universities and TVET institutions through the provision of government scholarships and loans support, uh, uh, apportioned according to students' need. The new funding framework seeks, seeks to offer students whose households are at the bottom of the pyramid, equal opportunity in assessing university education, as well as technical training. Towards this end, Mr. Speaker, I have proposed an allocation of Kenya shillings that 5.9 billion to the higher education roads boards for provision of loans to university and TVET students. Kenya shillings 16.9 billion for the scholarship for university students and Kenya shillings 7.7 billion capitation and scholarship for TVET students. And Mimu 